162 games. That's why Bryant is moved up into the number two spot. Samarja checks on Fowler. And Zobras boots one in the shallow right. It's going to land safely. Here comes Fowler with the plate. They have no play on him. One nothing comes. David Ross leads the cheering section. Didn't hit it hard, but it had a big impact. Early lead for Chicago. So you think knees and above and look for a ball coming into you and then you can let it go. The three one lined into right field. That'll rattle around. Bryant scores easily. Rizzo held it third. And it's a two run ball game with nobody out in the ninth. See and that's exactly what Zobris did. They hold it back. He stayed off the low sinkers. He waited for one for that came up above the knees, and you saw exactly what he was able to do. He was ready, he turned and burned on it. And the Cubs are saying, not so fast. Dave Rigetti going out to talk to the Giants. I guess you can say now closer in Romo. Hunter Strickland and Will Smith are ready to go in the San Francisco bullpen. Joe Madden's getting his closer up and Joe's going to pinch hit here for Addison Russell. The guy who drove in 95 runs during the regular season is being pinch hit for and now Bruce Bochy's going to come out and counter with a move of his own. Balls down. There comes the one one. Zobris lines one to right center field. That's a base hit. It's in the alley. It goes out to the warning track area. Zobris has a double. Peterson, the center fielder, made a sliding backhand stop out near the warning track. It's a leadoff double for Ben Zobris. Quite a third double for Zoe in this postseason. And Peterson does make a very good play stopping that ball from getting to the Ivy. Because if it gets to the Ivy, it's a triple. But Zoe stays right on this pitch and hit a bullet over Utley's head at second base. Well, what a great start for the Cubs here in the eighth. Addison Russell at the Urias. No score. A bunt. Couldn't have rolled it out there any better. And it's Zobris trying to get something jump started for the Chicago Cubs. Whatever it takes, that's got to be the model. This team has been usually beating people up with the long ball. Urias has not given up a homer at home, so why not drop down a bunt for a base hit? We talked about the first three innings. Thought as bad as they were struggling that a bunt <laughs> would get them going. And turn this series possibly back into a good feeling for the Cubs again. 2 2. That's a tough play for Grandal. He got him. What a play. The Cubs say, wait a minute, we want to look at it. It certainly looked like Zobrist was out, but they want to make sure. Let's see. No. Well, here we go. 
Off to the replay. I'm not saying anything. Yeah, I think we've learned our lesson, but that's about as clear as it gets. I'm not saying anything. Say it, John. <laughs> that's about as clear as it gets. It certainly looks like the bases will be loaded immediately. Oh, Zobrist. Which is through six. Kluber works first base side of the rubber. Ben Zobrist, former Tampa Bay Ray, the pitch to him, and he lines a base hit to left. So he has two of the Cubs' four hits in his third World Series. Lost it with Tampa Bay in 08, won it with the Royals last year, and now with the Cubs. Here's Kyle Schwarber, the DH. Here comes Terry Francona. Well, folks, sit back. Relax for a moment. It's soon to be Miller time. This pitching change brought to you by your Northern Ohio Toyota dealers. The Indians with a 3 0 lead in the seventh. Corey Kluber will get a thunder salvation. The play of Javier Baez. He's playing second. And the versatile one, Ben Zobrist, in left field. Here's the wind and the 1 2 pitch. Swung on, ripped up the alley in right center. Base hit. Davis can't cut it off. It'll go to the wall. Zobrist around second. He'll hold with a double. So Ben Zobrist is used to this stage. Zobrist checks with Larry Vanover to see. Larry, do you want to change your mind on that call? Two balls and a strike. Two outs. Bryant still at first. Eighth inning. Tribe up three zip. The next delivery. Swung on a looping liner base hit. Right center field. Davis cuts it off. Hustling to third base is Bryant. And that is the third hit of the game for Zobrist. And I would think we'll see Cody Allen. Or will we with Kyle Schwarber coming to the plate. Schwarber faced Miller last inning and walked. And Miller, folks, is at 41 pitches. So Zobrist. It was so good for the Royals last year. Helped them win it all. Has done his part with a three-hit game tonight. And at some point, you've got to pick out your spot. When the, when the word is you don't like to swing early, that just seemed like a perfect spot right there with a pitcher primarily going to throw you a first-pitch fastball after walking the previous hitter. Here's the 1 and Already Roberto Perez has been busy behind the plate. And bounced its way in there. One ball, one strike. The Indians in the bottom of this third will have Perez, the catcher, the number nine man, then the DH Santana, then Kipnis. Hit. Rizzo will get to second and hold. And Zobrist has got four hits in this World Series in six at bats. He does such a nice job knowing his strengths. Loves the ball down and he goes right back up the middle. And his rhythm seems to be more in tune than the rest of the Cubs in this lineup. And I would say better than we saw him in the first two rounds of this postseason. So it's clicked here in the World Series for Zobrist, and that's big as he hits in that clean. Alistair took his spot in the top of the fourth. He works in the top of the fifth. One on, one out. Zobrist. Numbers getting better. His swing is getting better. Four for six in this series. Ball one. Well, they keep saying it sounds like a broken record, but if somebody's trying to walk you and you don't let them, shame on you. And sometimes the heroes of a postseason may not be the highest average. It's taking what they're giving you and getting walks in the postseason are huge. Passing it on to the next guy. Let him do his job. Rizzo's three really good at bats tonight. That's one into the corner. A rocket. Rizzo will dig for third. Chisenhall falls down. 
Here comes Rizzo. Zobras to third. 3 nothing Chicago. RBI triple for Ben Zobris, the hottest hitter on either team. A bullet down into right. That's what I'm talking about. Pass it on to the next guy, and that's exactly what Zobris did. He took advantage. Rizzo got a great walk and got rewarded with a run score. So crisp coming off his bat and then Chisenhall went down and that allowed Rizzo to score from first. Francona comes to get the baseball. Cubs lead 3-0. Have a runner at third, one out. Shaw coming in. The Cubs behind Jake Gary after a terrible August of which he fell in love with the cutter and started bleeding into the fastball therefore a lot of home runs lately only one home run and that curveball has been a bigger weapon. Count goes to three and one on Zobris leading off. There's another hit. Red hot is the Cubs cleanup man Ben Zobris. And the batter will be Wilson Contreras, who has been sensational with men on base. 462 average with runners on. Six for 13, and that's number three all time in a postseason. And for a young guy, he's been patient. Every first at bat almost fakes a bunt, just willing to take a strike. So that anxiousness or ability to jump out at the pitcher hasn't been shown by this young man yet. Tomlin shows his pickoff move. Contreras had 12 home runs during the regular season. He came up and he played all over the place. Proved he could catch in the big leagues. They put him in left. He played great. They put him at first. The same. All the while hitting. Wherever Joe Matt put him in the Cubs lineup. Down. Rezzo leads it second. Now the stretch for the 3 0 pitch from Bauer. Zobras lines a base hit to right. Rezzo goes to third and holds on. The throw by Geyer to the cutoff man. First and third. Nobody out. A surprise swing by Zobrist on 3 and 0. But Ben was thinking, I might be able to get an extra base hit on this pitch. Yeah, or drive one out of the ballpark. And if you're going to change your pattern when a team's struggling on offense and you go 3 and 0, this is the time to do it. You're down three games to one in the World Series, a tie game with a runner in scoring position. And Zoe got a heater down the middle. He's attacking the zone. Fortunately for the Indians, Tomlin's home runs he's given up. They haven't been many, to your point. They've all been solos. Same for the Indians now. They've allowed eight solo shots as a pitching staff this postseason. The 0 1 to Zilbrist. That's in the right center, a base hit. Rizzo will turn and go. First and third with two out here in the first. Now the interesting thing here for Tomlin is you've got to be mentally tough here because your curveball is a weapon and the guys you're going to face next you need it. Russell struggles with curveballs but the last couple the left handers have been able to stay back see it well and Zobris who's been hot finds the gap playing deep keeps the runner from scoring. You see Schwarber likes what he sees now Russell been moved up struggling with off speed pitch. To see if he can stay with the thing. It was a year ago tonight 
Ben Zobrist and the Kansas City Royals celebrated a world championship with a win at City Field over the Mets. Now trying to help the Cubs get to tomorrow night. Hard hit base hit. Schwarber will be held. And the bases are loaded with one out. As Rizzo and Zobrist have gone four for four. And that's the only. Well, one from Shaw. The eyes of the world on Ben Zilbrist. Strike two. Shaw has put two, especially that one. Back door. Starts out a ball, catches the bottom right corner. Zilbrist spoils it. So they walk Rizzo. The go ahead run at second. Zilbris, the veteran, up. The young shortstop, Addison Russell, on deck. Lead off hit by Schwarber. Lifted for a pinch runner. Zobris, tremendous bat control, and there's a man that I don't know if he thought he'd play a role in tonight's seventh. Deck an intentional walk, and there's the cutter. He tried to go back door. He stays on it, slaps it the other way. And the Cubs. What a reaction by Rizzo, and now Miguel Montero 